Hello everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube channel and please smash that like button and leave a comment and please subscribe if you haven't. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am bringing you some news today and so some exciting news as you can tell I'm decided. Um, first of all, my um, family, which is my husband's um, sister and her mom, they're coming up to see our his family and um, we haven't seen them since last year and I was on second shift last year and I didn't have no personal days or vacation days left that I could take. So I didn't get to spend much time with them last year, but this year I know for a fact I will get to spend a lot more time I did than I did last year. Since I'm on day shift and I had vacation day, which I had it put in in January. And um, also we have this little um, carnival going on in town called Dunker Glass Days. And they have all of food, all fair food, the entertainment, and the rides going on. So that's the main reason why I took my vacation because I knew I wanted to be able to spend time with my husband up there, uptown, and possibly get some fair food like an elephant ear or something like that. And I will um, try to bring you um, some video from the fair if me and my husband goes up there. there. Uh, and I hope everyone had a good Memorial Weekend. I know I did. And I hope you guys thanked a um, veteran for serving. And in the comments below, let me, guys, let me know if you guys had any family members that served in the military, army, navy, or whatever. And I... Um, let me know if your little t if your town or your city has a little festival or carnival that you guys like to go to. Okay, guys. Um, there's a little um few of the festival that's going on uptown. It's called, like I said, it's called Dunkirk Class Days, and hopefully I can get more inside of the little festival so that way you guys can see what's going on and more of the stuff that they have from the where I live you can see a, like a little um, ferris wheel so hopefully I can get pictures of that or video of that of that to show you guys but um, that's pretty much it for the carnival is 86 out guys and it looks like we're gonna get some thunderstorms or rain coming soon which in the forecast it did say we were gonna get the thunderstorm and um the little carnival called the uptown which you already know the name i'm not gonna say it three times started today and it will end sunday and on saturday we will be having a, like a little parade going on and honestly, I just was so happy to get out of work today because it just seemed like everybody was in a grumpy mood and it was hot even though we do work in the air conditioning room. But the rain is here. I can see it hitting the windshield, the windshield of the car. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, ABC canceled uh, re the revival sitcom of Roseanne because of a racist comment that Roseanne Barr made on Twitter about the former White House advisor, Valerie Garrett. And I will leave the link to the story down in the description below. But 
let me know sh what you guys think about this. Should a should they just um, find DeRozan, or did they do the right thing about canceling the revival series of Roseanne? They were done with the first season of the revival, and they were working on the second season, which they were filming in August, and it was going to be 13 episodes long. But I think personally that they could have just find her and let the revival show keep going because I do love the reruns of Rose, the older Roseanne, and the revival ex episodes of Roseanne. I'm going to be bringing this video to a close, so please smash that like button and leave a comment. And please subscribe if you already have it, and I can't tell you this enough. Please subscribe if you haven't. So, bye! Thank you for watching my video and leave a comment and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't.